Hello everybody, thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Edward III technically became King of England in early 1327 after his father, Edward II, had been deposed by Queen Isabella, Edward III's mother, and her ally and possible lover, Roger Mortimer. For a time during their marriage, Isabella and Edward II had been quite content and got on rather well. Edward II, though, was a misguided and at times a naive man. He allowed himself to become far too attached to close personal favourites, including, famously, with Piers Gaveston and a father and son duo by the name of Hugh Spencer the Elder and Hugh Spencer the Younger. Edward's marriage went into rapid decline as Hugh Spencer the Younger in particular manipulated and controlled the king at the expense of Queen Isabella who gradually found herself becoming less and less influential. By the mid 1320s Isabella along with many members of the nobility had been alienated by Edward and his favourites for too long and so along with the future Edward III she crossed the continent to the court of the French king, Charles IV, her brother. It was while she was in France that Isabella met Roger Mortimer, and between them they decided to launch an invasion of England in 1326 to gain revenge on the dispensers. On their landing, Isabella, Mortimer and their party quickly gained support, and soon captured the dispensers, despite them attempting to make a hasty escape alongside the king. Hugh Dispenser the Elder, the father, was quickly tried and beheaded. But Isabella had a genuine hatred of Hugh Dispenser the Younger, and ensured his death was particularly gruesome and painful. Among many of the charges brought against Dispenser the Younger, included theft, being behind the killing of the Earls of Lancaster and Hereford, as well as taking up arms unjustly against the nobility. The Spencer was sentenced to be hanged, drawn and quartered. Aside from the usual hanging till half dead, disembowelment, beheading before the body was chopped into quarters that entailed a traitor's death. The Spencer, while he was still alive, had his private parts chopped off and burned in front of him. All this happened whilst Queen Isabella watched on, perhaps with some savage pleasure. But as it turned out, Isabella and Mortimer were little better at handling power than Edward II or the Dispensers had been. Along with the brutal removal of the dispensers, Edward was also removed from power and almost certainly murdered at Berkeley Castle in 1327. Although there are some theories that he survived and escaped. Edward's only real crime as king was that he had been too overly fond of a handful of people whom he had allowed to become overmighty. Isabella and Mortimer, though proved that their actions had only been taken out of self-interest and their regency on behalf of the now Edward III was a disaster and they prioritised their own enrichment over strong governance of the country. They did lead one expedition north against the Scots but that campaign proved to be a shambolic one and a disagreeable peace was arranged. Edward III, still only a teenager during his mother's regency, remained a puppet for three years between 1327 and 1330. However, one night in 1330, Edward would become a man and a king, and overthrow the tyranny of Isabella and Mortimer, and establish himself as the true ruler of England. 
Isabella and Mortimer were holed up at Nottingham Castle during the winter or early winter of 1330. They were aware of their growing unpopularity and took steps to ensure their personal safety by manning the castle with strong and loyal soldiers. However, this did not stop their downfall. Little did they know that one night, Isabella's now 18-year-old son, Edward III, had snuck his way into the castle, accompanied by his own band of loyal followers. Taking Isabella, Mortimer and their guards completely by surprise, Edward stormed the castle and seized Roger Mortimer. Despite Isabella's pleas to her son to show Mortimer mercy, Roger was hanged a matter of weeks later. Isabella must have known her pleas would fall on deaf ears. Mortimer had not only effectively displaced Edward as king for three years, but he had also been largely responsible for the death of the king's father. The only mercy that was shown to Mortimer was that he was spared the fate of Hugh Spencer the Younger. Mortimer was hanged at Tyburn. As for Isabella, her status as the king's mother spared her from any malicious retribution by Edward, but she spent many years in disgrace, effectively as a royal prisoner. But despite her disgrace, Isabella remained wealthy and she lived a comfortable lifestyle. The weeks and months after the capture of his mother must have been a challenging time for Edward, knowing that it had been her who was the cause of the death of his father. Over time, though, he began to show signs of forgiving Isabella, and she was allowed a little more influence and freedom of movement. She was allowed to visit the royal court, and she enjoyed a close bond with her grandchildren. As she entered her final illness, Edward visited her frequently at Hartford Castle, where she was staying and would eventually die in 1358. 